uh, using this, my regular physics classes. So as always, make sure you're signed into your account. When you do that, it should show you what's assigned. So the particular concept builder here, uh, let me see, I thought there was something in gravitation. Maybe it's here. Circular motion, gravitation. See if it does that. Yep. Um, so it's this gravitational field strength. So this is kind of like looking at what little g is. So when you go ahead and launch it, as per normal, there's like three of the concept builders there. And to make sure that you're logged in, and probably this is going slow because I'm trying to do a lot of things on this fairly old computer at this point. 7, 12, 18 percent. Just thinking about it. Come on, little guy. You're at 40 percent. Hooray. So your name should appear there. So activity one, ranking tasks. I don't think you've done this one. I think you did the universal gravitation one. So basically, we've got conditions A, B, and C. So again, in this case, each has a set of different gravitational conditions. The relative planet mass and relative distance of each unknown planet center are shown. So the key thing is, is if you think about the gravitational field strength, which is little g, that's equal to the gravitational force, which is big G, m1 times m2, over distance squared, and all that divided by the mass of the object. So essentially, the mass of the object itself cancels out. And so when we look at little g, it depends on the mass of the planet divided by the distance squared. Those are the only things that really matter. So in this particular case, when it's saying smallest, greatest, middlest, if I look at this, this planet is mass m, divided, 0.5 m divided by r. So 0.5 over 1 squared would be 0.5. 2 divided by 1 squared um, would be 2. Here, 1 divided by 2 squared is basically 1 over 4. So this should be the greatest. Just drag it in. So this, I said, was 1 over 4. This was 1 half. So this one should be the middlest. And I think this one should be the smallest. And basically that goes to show that that radius really matters a lot. So I'm going to check that answer. So that's how you do the first activity. Now I'm going to go back to the main menu. So I'm not going to finish this activity. But I want to show one example out of each one. So in this case, two locations are shown. Each has a different set of gravitational conditions. Relative planet mass and relative distance are shown. So the gravitational field strength is greatest at location A or B. So this is going to be mass. Um, and it, it assume that the object is the same mass because it, it cancels out. So mass over 1 squared. So it's 1 over 1 squared, so that's 1. This is 3 over 2 squared. 2 squared is 4, so that's 3 quarters. So the gravitational field strength is greatest at location A and by a factor of this should be let's see here four thirds I believe so let me just check that that's one and that would be three quarters so I think four thirds is the way to go that's a little sneaky I'm hoping that's right and so we're gonna end up that's that one so I did do that correctly and then back to the main menu, we're going to do one example from this one. So the gravitational field strength at X, which is out here, is 2.12 newtons per kilogram. Each of these units, these markings, are the same distance. So Y is basically on the surface, X, then you go further and further. So determine the gravitational field strength at this. 
So I think, I think to the center is one other unit of measure. So I think this is twice as close to the center of the planet as this. That means I think at y it would be one quarter as much. So a quarter of two is 0.5, a quarter of this is uh, three, so I think it's gonna be 0.53. Maybe I can type it in, I don't know. I hope that I'm doing this right. I should have probably checked that out ahead of time. No! Okay, we gotta go through it again. You might have to help me. So this is 1.45. This is closer. Mm. I think that's twice as close. I think it should be four times as much, but I'm curious if they're using the surface of the planet as to where they're measuring. It really should be to the center of the planet. This is why I want to go over these things with you, because I don't want you to be mixed up like if uh, I haven't tested this. So my thought is, if this is 1.45, this should be, it's twice as close, it should be four times as much. So that's four, should be 5.8. And if I am wrong on this, I will not have you do this one, I'll alter it, okay? Because obviously I need to be able to explain it to you. Okay, let me try one more. So I think that's one unit distance away. I think that's two distances away. I may have read it incorrectly. So x is 2.35. Y should be more because it's closer. If it's twice as close, it should be four times as much. So four times two is eight. Four times 0.35 is 1.4. So that should be 9.40. And again, if I don't get this right, it means I'm thinking about the surface of the planet wrong. Okay, so I think that's okay. If you do need help, you go here, directions here, back to the main menu here. The help me probably would give you an idea of what this means from the planet. So I think that's okay. I'm going to escape out of this. I'm going to stop recording. Again, it is grav field strength. I'm going to save that in the desktop.